Hey guys, just a few quick things before we get started. First, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, if you have not already, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also the notification button as well so that every time I post a new video that you receive a notification. Also, on social media, I can be found on Facebook at Tracy Rowland and on Instagram, you can find me at TEEB86. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I have my husband Lindrick here with me today as my guest. And my guest? You're really not a guest, but you know. What you want to refer to this? Go ahead, I'm here. <laughs> Um, so today we're just going to give an update about um, where we are in our financial journey. Lindrick and I started our financial journey last March and we shared our story at this financial web, uh, financial First, seminar. I feel like you should go back and apologize to the people. You ain't been consistent and all that. Did you address that in the other video? No. I did. Did you watch it? Because if you watch it, I watched it. Watch, I watched it, but I feel That's like it. since I'm here, you need to apologize and let the folks know we're gonna be back and be more consistent. We will be back and we will be more consistent in talking about our financial journey as well as just other things. Um, we'll talk about marriage, blending our family. Yeah. <laughs> having a baby. Um, so. A lot going on. So Jordan will be 14 in July, and then our baby will be born in August. So we have quite a gap in between the children as well. So that's going to be interesting. So um, we'll be talking about a lot of different things. But today we're going to focus on our financial peace journey. And this is something that Lindrick and I are really passionate about. We want to help. Um, educate, bring awareness to people, and not to say that this way is the right way for everyone or that is what you need to do, but it is something that we believe in. And as I said before, it's our financial peace journey. And although we still have a ways to go, um, I think that we already have a great deal of peace um, financially as well, which is a blessing. So. We're gonna kind of go back to the beginning. Just for anyone who has not followed our journey um, from the beginning or who did not see the first video that we did on budgeting. So we're gonna go back and kind of talk about how it all started and kind of what our why was and why we felt that this was the right thing for our family. So you wanna talk about that, sweetheart? Where do you want me to start? Just why, why, we, why we got started on this journey. Uh, well, we wanted to get some peace about our finances. I think we, we, like I said before in the other video, we had gotten married. I think we've been married maybe six months or so. And we, you know, I was looking forward to getting married and combining, having two incomes. I was looking forward to that. And we got married and we was having two incomes, but we had also, we doubled the amount of money we had going out. So. We just sat down one day and um, looked at the amount of money. I looked at the amount of money that we brought in, and it was a good amount. And I was looking at what we had in the account, and it didn't add up. So yeah, it didn't make sense. Yeah. So after that, we kind of um, um, started our, our, our Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey journey. And I don't want because we talked about it before. I don't want to go up over the top with the in depth, or you want me to go. I don't know what you guys. No, about. that's all I got. We we started it and we started budgeting and we started seeing some of the stuff falling off. And I think at first it was, it was knocking off some of the small stuff. You you get those small victories, but mm -hmm. now looking back over a year later, I'm so happy uh, that we started because had this pandemic happened last year, I'm not sure that I would be feeling as comfortable as I am right now. Yeah. And one of the things, too, is that we wanted our children and our children's children, like our legacy, to be different than what we had um, experienced, you know, growing up. So 
you know, Lindrick and I both have, you know, decent incomes, but we weren't managing that income correctly um, to really see the fruit of it and just looking at, we know we want to live well, we know that we want to have a certain amount of money, we know that we want to be able to retire to this certain lifestyle, but we didn't fully understand like what the steps were that we needed to take to get there. And so I think since we started this journey, we have a plan. We know where we want to be. We know where we're going. Right. And we are planning to educate our children so that they don't make some of the mistakes that we made. And they start life in a much different way. Their adulthood life, rather, in a much different way than um, than what we did. Yeah. I just, I, and I don't want people to think because I think you... Managing your money is necessary despite wherever you are, whether you're making over $100,000 or whether you're making $25,000 a year. It doesn't matter. You, at any phase of your life, you need to have control over your money and know where your money is going. I know a lot of people think that, oh, I'm not, they'll think that when I start making more, I'll start managing my money better, but that's not true. I, I remember I was managing my little nine grand a month terribly. And I was like, one second. Nineteen. Nineteen. What is that? You said nineteen grand. A year. You said a month. No, I said a year. Nineteen grand a month. My night. I was making when I was at FedEx. I wasn't making that much money. Probably nineteen, twenty a year. But you said nineteen grand a month, and I just want to make sure you're clear. My nineteen to twenty grand per year. I was managing it horribly. And I thought that once I... You thought it was an income problem. Did you think it was I an thought income it was problem? Definitely, it, and it partially was. It was partially income. Like, you definitely need to... Make more. Make more. Uh, it definitely needs to make more. But at the same time, I still should have been managing what I had at the time and not trying to live above my means. Um, so I don't want people to think because you're not where you want to be financially that you can't manage your money. It's important that you build healthy habits as far as how to manage your money, how to spend money, how to tell yourself no early so that when you get to a place when you're making 100, 200, 300, I'm not gonna put limits on you, 500,000 a year, it's the same It's the same concept. You may have a little more wiggle room, but you still, um, still manage what you got coming in. And I just think if I could have got there early or you know, if we could have, that's the plan you know, with the children is be able to plant healthy seeds of, of money management early, you know, mm -hmm. until where you're not just getting out of high school, working or going to college and have no clue um, what you're doing with your money. Right. And so, you know, that kind of goes into, you know, the next thing we want to talk about, just how budgeting is key. And so every month, now we basically know, like, what needs to go in each category because we've been doing it for over a year. Um, but that doesn't change. I mean, like, we still sit down every month and say, okay, you know, we need to do our budget. What do we have going on? What are some things that we had last month that we didn't have this month? What do we need to plan for for this month just so we know? And so that every dollar has a name on it so that we're telling our money where it's going as opposed to looking back and being like, what happened to the money? Like, we already know where our money has has gone each month because we created a budget and we we stick to the budget as yeah. well. And listen, if you don't do anything else, if you don't take anything else from this video, budget, 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 budget. And budget isn't like everybody has this like this bad, I don't know, bad budget has like this bad notion behind it that is punishment, but it is really not. I mean, it's your budget. You set it up for what it is, but you still need to know what you're doing with your money. Um, it, it, when you don't, it leaves so many open areas for you to spend on stuff you don't need to spend money on, that you, you spend in just random swipes, those swipe adds up, and then before you know it at the end of the month, you've, a large chunk of your money is going to something you didn't have intentions um, with it so we we budget we've been over a year now we budgeted every month and I I don't think I could go back to not yeah I could I, could, <laughs> I, could, I, could I don't know if it function if we did by not just just kind of freestyling the way we used to 
Um, and there's going to be times, and especially if you have a spouse or you find somebody that you can be an uh, accountable, accountable partner, to where like there's times to when you may not be feeling it, but your partner, because in the beginning, it was me. I was normally on top of the, the money, on top of the the uh, the numbers. I wake up Friday morning, as soon as we get paid, I'm paying bills. Uh, but I found myself with this pandemic, so I'm full commission. So my um, income has changed, right, for the worst. Like, I got a check last week, a week before last. It was the worst check I probably got in about, it's been a while, some years, right? So I'm in my feelings a little bit, and I had, didn't even realize it, um, but I wasn't as, uh, what's the word? Excited, not excited. Engaged. Engaged, that's the word. <laughs> Engaged in the budget. Yeah. Because my money was looking different. And it's not that we, we've budgeted well, we've been able to, like I have peace, like we don't have a whole lot of debt out there. So I'm at peace, but uh, I'm in a phase right now where I'm not as engaged or as active as I once was, but that's what the part about having a partner comes in. She's able to pick up the slack or even point out to me that, hey, man, you've been a little, you've been a little slack on, you know, the budget. And I had to really do some soul seeking and see why that was. But find you, if you have a spouse, it's important to be on the same page. If you don't, get you an accountability partner mm -hmm. um, that can kind of hold you accountable. Um, and it just helps to in those seasons of where it's you're not as excited about it or, or it may be looking a little funny it, you still be able to push through and get to the other side of that yeah so with um, all that's happened with our family with a baby on the way with this coronavirus pandemic and as you know like Linda mentioned um, you know because he's commissioned, just seeing a change in his income, we've had to adjust our financial plan. So we've been very focused on our day. You know, every every month we do, we do our budget, whatever it says we have left, the goal is that that money is going to go towards our debt. And so in preparation for the baby, we have um, stopped paying off our debt, but we're still saving that money. But the blessing and where we are right now is that we've been able to still, when we look back where we are with our debt, pay off a significant amount of money, but also save a significant amount of money as well. So we started our debt-free journey the end of March last year. And um, when did we make our last debt payment? Like big payment, was that February? Yeah, I think either the in of February, beginning of March, I think. Yeah. So we haven't made any significant payments towards debt, but we're still really proud of the progress that we made because based on us starting at the end of March last year to where we are right now, we paid off sixty-six thousand dollars, six hundred sixty-nine. I said that wrong. Sixty-six thousand six hundred sixty-nine dollars and nine cents. So let me say that again because I was laughing at myself. So debt paid year to date is $66,669.09. Um, it's a lot of sixes um, and nines. But we were happy about that number because now the only debt that we have is that we have um, a few thousand dollars left on one of Lindrick's student loan and then we have my student loan. Um, after that, that will be focused on. So we're, we position ourselves to where in having to make these adjustments that what we have going out is really just on, I don't want to say the essentials, but it kind of is the essentials, right? I mean, like our rent, rent food, food, shelter, gas. Yeah. Um, but we don't have, like the only thing that's left is the, the student loan, like you said. Uh, I got a, my car, but I'm going to get rid of that here soon um insurance and stuff like that so i think we position ourselves well it's just um we're not we're not doing it right now because of the baby we stopped because of the baby like have we kept pushing through that uh we probably would be up in the high 70 to 80 paid off yeah and we're gonna show we have the savings or not so you put it there listen well you said it now it's on video so you had it now 
No, I'm not. I'm not doing that much editing. So I mean, we got about like since we started saving, I think we've set aside probably about sixteen, sixteen five, um, set aside and saving since we started. So um, it's just in preparation for. We don't know what this baby's gonna cost us, and I don't want to have a whole bunch of doctor bills, right. right? So the plan is to. We paused it. Well, initially it was for the baby. Then the pandemic happened, so it was like we need this money and savings anyway. Uh, but the plan is, once the baby's here, once this pandemic is um, kind of falling off and we can get back to normal, we're gonna take all of that and dump it on um, our debt and trying to get out. Because our next goal is to start saving up for a home, saving up for a house, and um, we'll probably do another video on that at some point. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, where we to to kind of summarize where we are, this money that we have in savings. Once we get our hospital bill after we give birth, we'll pay that, and then once we get to a place to where we feel comfortable, depending on all this Corona stuff, then what's left in savings, we will put the rest of that towards our debt, and then we'll go back to being focused on paying our debt off um, as quickly as we as we possibly can, so, um... You have some faith about it, man. I have faith. Don't sound like that. <laughs> I have faith. It's just been different because we had been able to have a plan and basically everything that we wanted to happen, right? Like, every goal that we had set, we met that goal. And so having to adjust um, in these times, I think, has been a little different because I started out having struggles. You didn't. And then I think when Corona came, you <laughs> like started having the struggles. So, you know, it's been a shift because I'm like, no, we need to have this done by this and we need to. And so when things started to happen, I was having a really hard time adjusting to us not maybe meeting some of the financial goals that we had originally put in place so is I, I think you have to be willing to pivot is the key word you got to be able to pivot you can make your plan but you don't know what's gonna happen out here in the that's street true. and when it happens you got to be able to pivot that's true. and keep moving um, so the word of the day is pivot mm. so if you didn't learn nothing else from COVID-19 learn how to pivot that's all I got you can go ahead <laughs> Yeah, and, and I think too, you know, for us as um, believers, it's really just been about trusting God through this process too and, you know, knowing that um, he has us. And although, you know, like we put dates in mind of when we wanted certain things to happen, it's not to say that those things still won't happen by that date, but the journey, I think, has certainly been a little bit... Um, a little bit more different here in the last few months than it was that first year. That first year, I mean, we were able to just kind of knock everything out. You know, like, literally, like, everything that we prayed for, it it happened. Yeah. And um, there was the one that still loan I had, that was $15,000. And remember I told you I wanted that loan paid off in three months, and you just kind of looked at me. <laughs> Like, I was like, I'm on this loan, paid it off in three months. And like, Lindsay just looked at me, it's like, okay. But we paid it off in three months. And I mean, yeah. like, it was. Then. It was the Lord. Joy's tutoring thing. Yeah. So, I mean, it, I mean, we've seen the faithfulness of God for sure um, through us making um, our plans and being faithful to what He's blessed us, being faithful with what He's blessed us with. So it's not like, all right, Lord, we're going to ask you for this, but then we get this. We're going to go over here and, yeah. you know, go on a vacation or we're going to go shopping, you know, with whatever we get. Like, we really honor God with our finances and he in return was really faithful to us. And so now it's just trusting him on this journey or in this phase of our journey that is not looking like <laughs> what we originally thought that it would look like or where we would even be um at this point in our in our journey so i think you know the, the key is just being able to still have a plan 
but being able to adjust and be flexible in the plan and don't get discouraged because it's really easy, I think, to get discouraged when you feel that things aren't going the way that you thought they would or the way that you want them to. But, I mean, that that's where it goes back to as believers, just hoping and trusting in God, you know, through it all, that he's going to make a way and see it through. Agreed. So what do you have to add, baby? Uh, nothing. I don't have nothing to add. You know why? Because we got more videos coming. So, this uh, was just a little, <laughs> little appetizer, a little, little uh, spinach dip. Nibble on that. <laughs> on that. <laughs> Nibble on that one to the next one. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be more consistent. So you need to go into your spiel about liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff because you didn't do that before. Yeah. So if you have not um, subscribed, please subscribe. Um, the goal is to just kind of share, um, share Jesus, share first of all our lives, um, kind of where we are, and build a community of people with like minds or people that um, that will want the same thing. I like that want to grow spiritually, that want to grow financially in marriage, in health, in yeah. like, we just want to create a platform to where we can create a community of people that can all grow and learn, you know, from each other. Like we're gonna have different people uh, coming in and like I said, from from raising my stepson to a, my first child to marriage to all of that. So that's what we want to do here. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about it. She's gonna be consistent because she got me involved now and I borrowed these lights and, and what you call it. <laughs> so I want some fruit from my uh, <laughs> from my purchase. Um, so yeah, she got me learning how to edit it. We're doing all that. So we're gonna step up the quality a little bit. Um, and we just wanna have a good time with it and grow and learn and do all that good stuff. Yeah. So subscribe. You will you will be blessed, um, and, and that's certainly our hope is that you will be blessed um, by every video that is posted on this on this channel, and that you will, you know, learn something. And we certainly know how to figure it out. I mean, we're learning and growing. Oh no, we're not experts by any. But I am going to school. I don't know if we call it school, but I am getting my certification. I'm trying to uh, become a financial coach so to speak so i'm taking courses right now trying to learn as much as i can from bankruptcy to purchasing homes student to loans. student loans to retirement to stocks to all of that so i am going to be more aggressive with that to finish that up so that i'm able to hit the ground running and then we could uh, the goal is to help people i mean that's the only thing but first we was trying to free ourselves so you know if we can get free and go back and get some other people and then um, I think that'll shift. So shifting the communities. You shift the families, you shift the communities. I'm yes. not preaching yet. We're making this thing he, too long. He is preaching, but that was good though because that that's one of the things for us is being able to help educate and bring awareness. And as I said, you know, at the end of the video, we're not saying that what we're doing is a way that you have to do it, but we do want to let you know that there are ways that you don't have to continue in that same cycle that you have seen your entire life or thinking that you can't have this or that because of your circumstances and that a changed and a renewed mind um, can really have an impact on um, the trajectory um, of your life and so I just think that it's important for us to to begin to educate um, to educate one another because what was that um, Anthony O'Neill video that he did and he was talking about the wealth gap and I can't remember the year in my head is 2054 but he was basically saying that there was a study that suggested that um, African Americans would have zero to negative wealth where um, our counterparts would have 
150,000 plus in wealth. And so whatever we can do to help educate those around us, those who may come in, you know, con come in contact with this channel, we want to make sure that it's an, it's, a, it's an opportunity for you to truly learn and grow and to, to think about life in a different way um, than maybe you had before and to see that there is, there's hope and that it's possible. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, that was it. <laughs> the preacher, like, good. It was good. It was good. But you know how the preacher be like, I'm done. I'm they go my last. Yeah. My bad. But yeah, I just wanted to, to get that out because I think it's important um, to share that as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. And um, we'll be back with the, another video next month about something. I don't know what yet, but something. Oh, yeah. It's the end of May. Cool. So, next month, we'll see you guys back. Deuces. Peace. <laughs>